The main reason we have a section on images and image processing in this class isn't because image processing is important to numerical analysis. It's more because image processing gives us a nice way to work in a visual manner with NumPy arrays. So let me show you what I mean by that. I have this penguins.jpg uh, file in the same folder as my current Jupyter notebook, so I can access it easily. I'm going to save it with the variable name img, and then we'll say image.open, and then the file name, penguins.jpg. And if we check what's the type of this img, it's some pillow JPEG image file, and that does not immediately correspond to a numpy array but if i take np dot as array is the recommended way to do this img and let's save this with the name arr and what this does is it gives us a numpy array so a type of arr is going to be a numpy array it gives us a numpy array that represents this image so let me look at the image okay it's uh, this picture of penguins and let me show you what the shape of the corresponding NumPy array is. And this is, I think, our first example we've seen of a three-dimensional NumPy array. So meaning there are three different uh, numbers that show up here in the shape tuple. And this one, so we've seen two-dimensional NumPy arrays a lot. Like everything that looks like a matrix is a two-dimensional NumPy array. And so that's like these two, uh, these two numbers. And so the 225, that is how many rows there are. Okay, the, that's along this axis zero. This 399, that's how many columns of pixels there are. Okay, for the image, that's how many columns of pixels. Or for the NumPy array, that's how many columns there are in it. And then uh, maybe the most interesting thing is this number three here. And so... What you should do is you should think of this sort of like a matrix and like with 225 rows, 399 columns, but each entry of the matrix is going to represent a color. And to represent a color, one of the standard ways to do that is with a length three vector that corresponds to RGB values, red, green, blue values. So uh, let me show you an example. Let me do ARR square brackets 0 comma 0. So this is like getting the very upper leftmost pixel. And so the color that's represented in this very upper leftmost pixel is 178, 190, 206. And how you should think of that is this says how much red there should be. This says how much green there should be. This says how much blue there should be. And so the fact that blue is the highest, but not by a ton, that is like saying this upper leftmost color here, it is like slightly on the blue side. And so uh, let me show you, um, show you what the range is of these values. So uh, let me just do arr.min. And so what this does, it just goes through the entire array and it asks, what is the minimum value okay, of all of these numbers? So for example, it should be 178 or lower. Okay, it's a zero, that's probably what you would have guessed. I think max is harder to guess if you haven't seen it before. And so total, you should think of this as saying for each value of red, green, and blue, they want there to be 256 different options. Okay, these are always going to be integers. Okay, we can see that here in this D type uint8. And the possible integers are 0 to 255. And so that's 256 possibilities. And 256 is 2 to the 8th. So that's like 8 bits or 1 byte. So that is a reason this is a very natural number to use, this 256 when you're on a computer. Let me just show a little more about how the NumPy array relates to the picture that we see. So, uh, for example, if I were to do ARR, okay, and let me get every row, and let me get just from the 300th column to the end. Okay, and then let me ask, what is the shape of that? So, uh, 
has the exact same number of rows as before, has from number 300 and beyond the number of columns, and each pixel is still represented by this, these three numbers, so that three has stayed the same. And so the reason I like doing image processing to help us understand NumPy better is because like this is maybe a little abstract, but we can get a visual sense of it very nicely. So uh, let me just show the original before. So this was the original image. And then I can say array. So we've seen how to go from an image to a NumPy array. Okay, this was the image. This was getting the NumPy array version of that image. Okay, and here is how to go in the opposite direction. This is a NumPy array, okay, one with 99 columns. And this is how we go from that NumPy array to a pillow image file. Okay, and so it's exactly the last, I guess it was 99, the rightmost 99 columns of this image. Okay, but it's the same number of rows and all the colors are the same. Okay, I think that's where I'll stop this video. In the next video, we will talk about how can we change some colors in this picture. Okay, thank you for watching.